Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday, and breaking free from anything that's holding you back, from having the best day ever, and becoming the best version of yourselves. I'm doing the same thing. It's a rainy Monday, but that's all good. I'm so excited about today's topic. It's going to be 59 frugal tips uh, to save money on groceries and really throughout your life from you guys, the viewers. Um, as last week's video on seven items that I would cut from my grocery budget to save money, that collab I did with Sensible Living with Money Mom Dawn, that video started to get lots and lots of comments and more comments than I could have ever expected and they were so great and I kept going through every one I was like, oh man, that's good. Okay, that's good, that's great, that's good. Um, and I got thinking about them and I was like, I need to highlight these, I need to go through these, every single one, and kind of bring shine a light on which you guys added to the conversation. And I always get so much from your comments, so please, if you can think of any more, drop them down below. Let me know how you're doing. So I'm gonna go through these 59 um, frugal tips from you guys, the viewers, thank you so much. Before I do that, I did make about $63 this morning multi-apping with Walmart Spark and Instacart Shopping. I'm working a little bit harder this week, next week, the next three or four weeks really uh, briefly. The way my schedule works, I'm only waiting tables three days a week, this week and next week. Then the week after, I'm off Tuesday for Halloween. Thankfully, I can have it off. And then Friday, I'm going to a concert with my wife. I was one that she really wanted to see. <clears throat> Usually it's me dragging her to concerts, but this is her pick. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then the week after that, the restaurant is closed for kind of just a vacation to give the kitchen a break and, and everybody else. So I got to make it up. And the way I can do that is through my side hustles and specifically through multi-apping with Instacart and Walmart Spark and when I need to Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, everything's gonna come into play. And I'm basically a part-time waiter and I, and I do part-time gig work and it's working out for me and what makes it work out is really all these tips that I have uh, from you guys and the ones that I've put together in my past to start off with the tips, there one was a quote that says, every day is a chance to rewrite your life's script. And I chose to rewrite my life script to have some freedom and to not have all my eggs in one basket with one job. And now, you know, when you're short or you don't get as put on the schedule as much and when you're losing days due to the restaurant closing, I can still enjoy those days. I can still have the best day ever. I can still earn money. And I don't need to earn as much because I'm living a debt-free life and a minimalist life for the most part. And I don't need a lot of stuff to make me happy or necessarily a lot of money. I just need enough. And when I think about am I working enough to make me feel a little bit better, I thought of this song lyric from the band The Killers. It was, it's from, they're from Las Vegas and it's from one of their newer songs called When Dreams Run Dry and just a couple lines here it goes We're all gonna die And when they're closing up the door Nobody wishing that they work more Forget about your suitcase And we'll beat the birds Down to Acapulco Bay Honolulu on here say running at our own pace and I like to sing that part over and over to myself I think it's a beautiful medley <clears throat> melody and I think yeah when they're closing up the door nobody wishing that they worked more and even the first line did I want to start off this video with we're all gonna die but memento mori it's a stoic philosophy I talk a lot about Stoic philosophy, and that's not in a morbid way, that's in a way to make life beautiful and to cherish every moment. And perhaps I think the end of this video will tie in with a little bit with that too. But without any further ado, let's get into these tips. 59 viewer tips, number one, sobriety. Um, if you're gonna be sober, you don't have to spend money on alcohol, that's a heck of a saving maneuver right there. 
Uh, number two, vegan, no spending on meat. It's a way to save some money. Next one, no prepared foods. I like it, great tip, you're gonna save some money. No premium brands, if you're in debt, maybe cut out the alcohol, cut out the prepared foods, cut out those premium brands. The next one, eat one meal a day for health and for your budget. I would like to do that. Um, I'd love to get to that place, specifically with that power bowl, uh, power bowl I showed you guys last week with the chicken, the quinoa, the broccoli, the carrots. Um, the next tip is two healthy meals a day with no snacking. Maybe a little bit easier uh, to get into than just one meal a day. Next tip, coffee, make it at home, and water in the a.m. and then water for the rest of the day. I like that one, you're gonna save some money. Have hens for eggs. Uh, I know people even in New York State with chickens and hens that they have their own eggs. Um, is that gonna save you money? Maybe, and also could be, you know, if, if there was ever food shortages too. Uh, the next tip is to cut tea and coffee altogether. I've certainly considered it. Uh, you're certainly gonna save some money and you know, you start stringing these things all together. Look how much money I bet you could save. Um, if you're new to this video, if you're about to rewrite your life script, you want to cut out your your addictions, your coffees, um, down to one meal a day with with uh, no meat and no prepared foods and no premium brands and no alcohol, you're going to be saving a lot of money. Next is DIY greeting cards. This was one of the most popular answers, one that I talked about a little bit last week. Um, lots of votes for DIY greeting cards. The next is going to be to use old t-shirts and washcloth and socks and a regular mop for cleaning. Save a lot on paper towels and cleaning products. Um, the next is going to be to stock meat on sale in your freezer. Why not? I love it. Move close to your work um, and you're going to save on gas. Next is going to be to bring gifts unwrapped to save money and the environment less in the landfills. What else here? All right, the next frugal tip from you guys, the viewers, is gonna be to wrap gifts with newspapers. You know, if it's a kid's, you could use the comics. Um, maybe you don't want the front page awful news nowadays, but uh, wrap gifts with newspaper, you're gonna save some money. The next is gonna be to make birthday cakes at home and all baked goods for that matter. I personally prefer my birthday cake at home. I still, growing up it was chocolate cake my grandmas would make me, and I didn't like the cherries in them, but uh, I didn't, I'm not a fan of that. But now I request confetti cake from my wife, and she makes me that with the confetti frosting. Oh my God, I could eat, I could eat the whole box. Uh, next, cut paper towels for napkins, and also you can use for facial tissues. The next tip is to buy organic fruits and veggies in season and you know you can save elsewhere to justify the expense. Maybe you're on a health kick <clears throat> and you want some organic and you, you know you've been drinking too so maybe cut out cut out the alcohol, cut out um, you know gift wrap. Find other places to save on this list. There's 59 tips here. So if you really want the organic fruits and veggies, cut other places. Next could be to meal plan around store sales. I love that idea. The next, stock up on holiday sales like the 4th of July, Father's Day, etc. Um, this is a great one. Use coffee filters from the dollar store to drain your bacon, grease, and other fried foods. They're a lot cheaper there. Um, coffee filters can also clean mirrors and can also clean glass. I did not know that. The next, this was a very detailed uh, frugal tip is don't buy any of this stuff. Make it all at home. So what of these can you make at home? Salad dressing, laundry detergent, bread, yogurt, granola, spice mixes, candles, soups, preserves, jellies and jams, pizza, wool dryer balls, face masks, uh, gifts, baby food, cleaning products, clothing. You can make home decor, furniture, fresh fruits and veggies. You can grow them. Uh, you can make your own snacks, pickles, ice cream. We've done it before. Guacamole, hummus, some cheeses. So I mean, tons of things right there. If you really um, are serious, there's a lot of way to save money right there to cut your grocery bill down and to save money. The next is going to be to 
take it as a personal challenge. I like this gamify life to lower your bills the next month, your utility bills, your heat, your electricity. Um, I love to gamify life. Maybe see how much you can save this month versus last month. Um, maybe see how less you can use the car. See how much you can sell. See how much you can earn from your side hustle. Any way you can gamify life. Maybe get up a minute earlier, lift a little bit more weights, um, do this or that at work. There's all these little games that you can play with yourself to make it a little bit more fun and more interesting. Um, this next tip is going to be from you guys to, is to do repairs instead of to buy replacements. I like it. The next tip is to rarely eat out. Um, this person mentioned friends going out and eating $50 breakfast. You know, it's, it's really going to add up. If you do that once a week, once a month. That's a lot to add up right there. The next is going to be to stretch the usage of meat, stock up on cheap veggies. Um, and like do stuffed spaghetti squash, uh, stuffed mushrooms, different ways that you can stretch your meat and your veggies, your cheap veggies together. I like this one, freeze fruits and veggies that are in season. I like it. Food budget for two is another tip. It's $300 a month. Food budget for two, and that's just food. That's not going to include any cleaning products or poo-poos or anything like that. This was very popular to use um, to use store apps to save money with loss leaders. I'm not familiar with, with what loss leaders is. If anyone wants to explain it to me, uh, the next tip is going to be to keep track of inventory in your fridge, in your freezer, in your pantry. Totally, if you're going to be serious about saving and, and buying deals and and stretching your food supply, it's great to know what you have, what you need um, when sales come up. The next is gonna to be to make a meal list and stick to that list in capital letters. Um, you know, not to have a bursting shopping cart when you're at the store and you're just throwing this and this and uh, impulse buys and mindless spending and mindless consuming. I often feel when I do my shops that, you know, I'm gonna of course run into people and then I feel there's a little judgment on my cart. You know, you're looking down and there's can be crazy stuff in that cart, let's put it that way, bursting. And I'm assuming these people are not on a, a frugal journey. And I always got to explain, this is not my cart. I don't have 25 bags of chips or this or that, you know. Um, but, yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, so make a meal list and stick to it. I like that. That takes good discipline and, and you're right online there. The next is going to be to compare stores. Don't just shop at one. I have so many memories of my grandpa and my uncle sitting in the living room, newspapers open, comparing and and talking prices at Tops and at Wegmans and, and uh, comparing meat prices and, and this and that. Uh, the next tip is going to be a carton of wine at Costco is $3.99. And also cereal at Costco is going to be um, a lot more cheaper. So if you're into ha having a little bit of wine, Costco might save you right there. All right, we're, we're moving on down. Buy cloth napkins at thrift stores. You're going to save a lot of money. Uh, handkerchiefs are, can replace tissues. Dollar store cards, Hallmark cards are 50 cents, so AKA two for a dollar. Um, eat at home all the time, unless you have gift cards. Gift cards can be a nice gift. Perhaps you receive them, perhaps you give them. Uh, let's see, save on cookbooks, find recipes online. Another tip is classic cookbooks are not only cool, but they're worth money. Keep an eye on your classic cookbooks. Check them out on eBay. There could be some money there from the 50s. Um, 60s and perhaps some other ones from the 70s or 80s and of course earlier as well 30s and 40s um, Cleaning products use like circled use vinegar water and a small drop of dish soap uh, For laundry products dilute with water and they'll last a lot longer cut dryer sheets into thin strips They'll work just the same and toiletries dilute with water and they'll last a lot longer um, another thing is going to be to learn to repair appliances. Almost anything can be found on YouTube. Um, a viewer said their husband has really become proficient in, in repairing their appliances around the house. And then I started thinking that could be a side hustle too. Um, learn how to repair appliances. Learn how to open and close pools. Um, I'm kicking that one around. This guy who's going around our town closing pools is making legit bank and probably under the table cash too. Uh, the next is going to be exercise at home. The next tip is to make popcorn on the stove at home. 
The next is get on your library wait list for best selling books. Okay, getting down towards the end of these amazing viewer tips on frugality and to save money at the grocery store and in life. Uh, buy your books from Goodwill. Um, there's also little libraries around town, of course. You've probably seen them. Take a book, leave a book. All very frugal ways to get some books. You know, I know there's kid books there too. Uh, kick bottled water. Purchase a filter. I believe that was a Jan Saves Money from NYC tip that um, she gave to a viewer. The next one is going to be some things are worth spending on and skipping the generic brand. This one viewer preferred dish soap. She could not or he could not skip on dish soap. So again, save elsewhere if you uh, are not into uh, doing a generic brand for a certain item. Another person mentioned about alcohol. Maybe we shouldn't avoid it. Maybe we should get it because it's a great bartering mode of currency when times get bad. I know, uh, I can imagine that. You know, I, I hope times never get bad that we need that. But boy, uh, probably people are going to need a drink in those situations. Uh, the next is sweets only on special occasions. When I mentioned I love Salisbury steak in the next video in the frozen prepared food, um, a viewer mentioned that you can make Salisbury steak at home and there's plenty of recipes online. So. If anyone else is craving Salisbury steak, check those out. The next is never finance a car. Listen to Dave Ramsey. I completely agree. Um, car payments are like five fifty or, or more now, and that's going to keep uh, keep you broke for sure. Uh, two more tips. The second to last one is going to be check where generic brands are made. China, for instance, uh, they have a poor record of food safety. A viewer mentioned, so that's something to consider. And then I think. This last quote, I took it to be a little bit maybe sarcastic or condescending. Perhaps I was reading it wrong, but after all those frugal tips, and there was about 200 comments, this person goes, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. And uh, if you don't believe me, look in the cemetery, because that's where they all go. Okay, sure. Um, I thanked him for the comment, and I got thinking, yeah, of course, you know, live a little bit. Um, this is not meant to be deprivation at all. This has got to be something that you enjoy, I think. I think there's moderation. I thought about the middle way, which Buddha practiced. I think there's a story where he eats like one grain of rice a day or on the opposite end, you know, is, is gluttonous. And it's neither one of those things. It's it's the middle path where you're not, you know, driving yourself crazy or, or torturing yourself. You want to be able to enjoy your life. So live a little bit too. Have some cake, um, you know, Splurge where you have to if you got it. You know, you can earn some things. You can't take it with you. Um, and, uh, you know, don't, don't get yourselves boxed in. I hope that you found those 59 tips as amazing as I did. Please um, let me know how you're doing. Leave any more that you can think of. I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Break free.